Why is tap water in most parts of China not safe to drink? Why do people in China still boil their tap water? A first partial answer is, it depends on the water treatment technology. Many cities in North America and Europe are still using conventional technology to supply drinkable water. Conventional technology's main goal is to remove pathogens and bacteria from the tap water. And it works pretty well if the source water is relatively clean. But in China, where water sources can be heavily contaminated, conventional technology is not sufficient, and you definitely need state-of-the-art water treatment plants which remove not only pathogens, but many chemical contaminants too. By the end of 2009, of the more than 4,000 water treatment plants at or above county level, 98% were still using conventional technology. Only six cities, Beijing, Shanghai, and four others, had water treatment plants with advanced technology. And yet, despite having some of the best water treatment in the world, these six top Chinese cities still have a drinking water problem. Why is that? To answer this question, let's take a look at the journey Shanghai's water takes from source to tap. Most of Shanghai's tap water comes from the Yangtze River. A smaller percentage comes from the Huangpu. This river water is filtered into large reservoirs along the banks of the Yangtze. It is stored here for several weeks to allow for some natural purification to occur. Over time, solid particles sink, and exposure to the sun's ultraviolet rays inactivates many pathogens. This water is now called raw water. It is ready to be pumped into a water treatment plant. Here, it undergoes intensive chemical and physical processing. The so-called finished water is clean and drinkable, ready for distribution through two dozen storage reservoirs scattered across the city that pump it directly to homes and schools. For the millions living and working in high-rises, water makes one more stop. It's pumped up to rooftop tanks and then flows to the faucet. So let's recap. Water goes from river to reservoir to treatment plant. Now it's clean. Then it is piped to smaller reservoirs and rooftop tanks to the tap. End of journey. But is this water still safe? Let's have a look at what's inside. Studies show that after its long journey, the average glass of tap water in Shanghai can contain many troubling things. First, microorganisms including bacteria, yeast, mold, and protozoa, some capable of causing serious diseases. Second, heavy metals including lead, manganese, and chromium, which can harm brain development. Third, inorganic compounds like phosphorus, a fertilizer ingredient that can cause kidney damage and osteoporosis. Fourth, disinfection byproducts, including carcinogenic organic compounds that form when common disinfectants like chlorine and chloramine come into contact with organic material. Fifth, antibiotics like theamphenicol and fluorphenicol, which is used for animals. How did these contaminants get in my glass of water? Well, some were there to begin with and just slipped through the cracks of the purification process. No water treatment plant anywhere in the world gets rid of all possible impurities. Primary contamination is not the main problem. Purified water gets dirty again during distribution. It's called secondary contamination, and it's the main source of impurities. Shanghai has 27,000 kilometers of distribution pipes, possibly the largest municipal water network in the world. Contamination can happen anywhere along the pipes. Lead can leach from pipe joints into the water. In many old buildings, pipes carrying drinking water and wastewater run parallel, which can lead to cross-contamination. Rooftop tanks are also a source of concern. By law, they should be cleaned every season in Shanghai, but they're not. Putting all this aside for a moment, even water that appears to comply perfectly with China's safety standards may not, in fact, be safe. Why? First, China's standard, which is in line with WHO parameters, requires the removal of 106 specific contaminants. Many compounds, including some antibiotics and pesticides, just aren't tested for. Second, while China has stricter limits on some contaminants than Europe, for others it allows levels 10 or 20 times higher than the EU. Third. China's water treatment plants are, for the most part, responsible for monitoring the safety of their own water. Fourth, there is a lack of independent data. The last time the central government independently tested water across the country and published the results was 2012. It's not all bad news. The Chinese government has put enormous resources into providing people with clean drinking water. In fact, water quality is much better than it used to be. 
especially in big cities with big budgets. But in the end, modern water treatment plants can never compensate for thousands of kilometers of old distribution pipes, service reservoirs, or poorly maintained rooftop water tanks. And so people are still boiling their water, buying bottled, or investing in their own water purifiers. Thank you.